Hello everyone my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82 please do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming latest technical videos in this video i am going to show you how to download and install the latest version of postgresql database on windows 11 operating system the latest version is 15.1 well what is postgresql it is an open source and highly stable relational database management system currently It's the second most used database only following behind MySQL database. PostgreSQL database runs on all major operating systems. It supports text, images, sounds and video and includes programming interfaces for C, C++, Java, Perl, Python, Ruby, TCL and also open database connectivity that is ODBC. Hope my briefing gave you an idea about PostgreSQL database. Okay then, let's move on. This we are going to do in three steps. In the step 1, we are going to download PostgreSQL database from the official website. In the step 2, we are going to install the downloaded software of PostgreSQL database on Windows 11 operating system. In the last step, we are going to do some setup. We are going to navigate in the installed applications and also we'll create database and tables. Okay then, let's move on to the first step that is download. Let's download the PostgreSQL database from the official website. I'm going to show you how to do that. Open Google in any web browser. and search with the keyword postgresql hit enter you can see the google search results the first link itself you can see this is the official website postgresql.org just click on this first link it will direct to the official website this is the official website from this site we are going to download the database software just scroll down here you can see the latest releases the latest release is 15.1 here you can see the latest release date just click on this download you will be directed to the downloads page This is the downloads page. Here you can see the packages and installers. This is for the Linux operating system, for the Mac OS and for the Windows. Right now I am going to download for the Windows operating system. So so just click on this. You can see the Windows installer. Just scroll down. You can see the PostgreSQL versions and 64 bit platforms. Just click on this download the installer. You are at the final page. You can see the version 15.1 is the latest version. So I am going to download for the Windows operating system. Just click on this. While well, your download is about to start, your download got started. Here you can see the file size is 314 MB. Click on Show All. On the screen, you can see the download progress. It all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection. It may take some few minutes. Finally, our download got completed. Just click on Show in folder. It will direct to the downloads folder. This is downloads folder, and this is the downloaded software. Now let's move on to the next step that is installation. In this installation step we are going to install the downloaded PostgreSQL installer on Windows 11 operating system. I'm going to show you how to do that. Go back to the downloads folder, right click on this software, select run as administrator. Whenever you are installing any software on your machine, I strongly recommend you to select run as administrator. Just select run as administrator. Sometimes you may be prompted for the user control access. Please click on yes or you might be getting this pop-up message. Just click on run. On the screen you can see it is starting the install installation wizard okay finally you can see the setup wizard welcome to the postgresql setup wizard just click on next in the next step we need to specify the directory where postgresql will be installed this is the default c drive installation directory if you want to change in another directory you can go with this right now i am going with the default installation directory just click on next here we need to select the components that we would like to install postgresql server pg admin 4 stack builder command line tools right now i don't want to install this stack builder i am deselecting this stack builder is nothing but if you want to download and install additional tools drivers and applications then we need this stack builder tool so right now i don't want this stack builder just click on next in this step we need to select a directory under which to store your data i am going with the default directory just click on next now we need to provide a password for the database super user that is nothing but admin so just give a password i am giving as 1234 and retype the password 1234 i am request you to please remember this password this password is very very important please click on next in this step we need to select the port number the server should listen on so let it be the default port 5432 just click on next in the advanced options we need to select the local language that to be used by the new database cluster so just drop down this local here you can see the languages but i am going with the default locally just click on next On the screen you can see the pre-installation summary the following setting will be used for the installation which we have set previously remember this database super user is postgres and the password that we have kept is 1234 and please remember the password just click on next now here you can see setup is now ready to begin installing postgres sql on your computer just click on next you can see the installation progress it may take some time please have some patience finally you can see setup has finished installing postgres sql on your computer so just click on finish 
So far, we have successfully downloaded and installed PostgreSQL software on our computer. Let's move on to the final step. In this step, we are going to navigate in the installed applications and also we will create database and also we will create a table. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now click on the start menu, click on this all app, just scroll down to pre PostgreSQL, drop down this folder. Here you can see PG admin 4. Just click on this. It is starting the PG admin 4 web page. You can see PG admin 4 started. Now we need to set the master password. Here you can see, please set a master password for PG admin. This will be used to secure and later unlock saved passwords and other credentials. I'm going to give the same password which I have given at the time of installation. One, two, three, four. Just click on OK. Just drop down this servers. Now we need to connect to server. We need to enter the password that we have given for the super user Postgres. Just give the password one, two, three, four and click on save password and just click on OK. Here you can see PostgreSQL, this is the database, just drop down this database, you can see all this Postgres, this is a super user, nothing but admin, you can see the schemas all over here, you can see the tables here. Now let me show you how to create a new database in this. Click on the databases, right click and create database. Here we need to provide the database name, I am giving as tech82. Here you can see the definition, security, parameters, advanced and also SQL, this is a SQL, okay. I am just clicking on save. It is creating database. Here you can see tech 82 has been created. Now I'm going to show you how to create a table in this. Drop down the schemas. Here you can see tables. Right click, select create table. Here we need to provide the table name. I'm giving as name as student info and uh, click on the columns tab. Here you can see plus icon. Just click on this. One more name I'm providing as and data type as car. For the second column I'm giving as last and the data type as car. Just click on save. Just drop down, you can see student info table has been created successfully. In this way, we can create database as well as tables. Now, let me show you PostgreSQL shell command line. Click on the start menu, click on all app, go to the PostgreSQL, drop down this. Here you can see SQL shell, just click on this. On the screen, you can see the SQL shell terminal, just hit enter. One more enter, let me be the defaults, these are all the defaults one, so hit enter, username hit enter and the password you need to give at the time of installation that you have given for the Postgres SQL super user. I have provided as 1234, so I am giving as 1234, hit enter. Now I am going to give a small command, backward slash help, hit enter. With these commands, we can make use of shell terminal. That's it guys, thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon. Please like and also share my videos to your friends and also please provide your valuable comments on this video. Your comments are highly valuable. Thank you guys.